patience. Give them good advice. Make sure they understand what a consequence is so that they know if they make a bad decision, there is a result. And then you gotta trust them to go out into the world. You know, with school and activities and running them around and grocery shopping and everything else that happens, I really try to carve out those moments or that hour, few hours, where I can really spend that quality time with each child. Some things that have helped me uh, be a little more present with my son, taking your phone and your iPad and just removing it. I think family meetings are incredibly important. I call for a family meeting and it's a time when we all gather and it's sort of an open platform for my children to speak about anything and everything. This is what I do when I'm watching either television or videos with my kids is I try to always watch with them, which may be annoying for them, but I, you know, we limit how much they watch, which is a good idea. I have learned to be vulnerable with my children, not because I want to show them weak or that I'm not the man that my dad was, who was a farmer and man of the earth sort of guy, but to show that I'm accessible. So my tip would be model the behavior you want your kids to have. How do you raise a child to have spiritual values? Well, I would say the first thing to do is have them yourself. I mean, you, that's the only way, really. My golden nugget of parenting advice would be probably not to sweat the small stuff. I think it's one of those taglines that you can use from day one up until later on. One of my golden nuggets of parenting is to be willing to walk away when I know I'm about to lose it. I do yoga. <laughs> to answer your question about stress and what I do to kind of combat, you know, all the stress that we have in our lives. You can give them one of the greatest gifts in life to teach them how to start over. My mom used to always say to me, you have the right to change your mind. How much power is that? If I want to change my mind today and say I want to do that tomorrow, I can. The one piece of advice I would give my younger self as a mother would be to stop feeling so guilty. When I was working, I would feel guilty. When I was with my children, I would feel guilty about work. And learning to be in the moment, learning that I'm not going to do it perfectly,